Dr. Tyler here with six-time world long drive champion Jason Zubak to talk about the importance of getting out of the trail side so that you don't get stuck back there and can't transfer that force to the lead side where you really want to generate a lot of power in the golf swing. Now, the beauty of it is in the Smart to Move app, we can really key in on a few variables that will tell us the story about what this player is doing. So here's kind of an example, Jason, of a player that really struggles with that, right? They, they do that nice job of kind of loading into the trail side. I can see in terms of kind of the pressure distribution and 80-20 pressure. I can also see they're actually generating about 75% of their body weight into the trail side and only 20% from the lead side. But as the swing starts to progress, what you see is if I go to about lead arm parallel on the downswing, you can see that they're actually only generating about 35% of their body weight and lead leg vertical force. And you can see that pressure distribution of a 63% trail, 30, 37% on the lead leg. So this is that player that ends up just kind of going back there and they're just kind of stuck there forever, Jason. Yeah, definitely. The, you know, what we see, you know, from our TPI data and such that the player, uh, the best players in the world, the fastest players in the world, we get loaded into that trail side, but we start coming out of that trail side early. So we initiate that, that push or initiating force towards the target at about when the club shaft is parallel to the ground, what we call P2, and the fastest guys in the world are even earlier than that. Mm -hmm. Just so we can, keep, we can produce this force for a longer period of time, which has great benefit in ultimately creating uh, you know, power and speed in the golf swing. Yeah, and I, I like this visual of it too, where you can see this red force vector, which is gonna be a representation of what's going on with the trail leg, and the blue force vector, a representation of what's going on with the lead leg. And you can see that that red force vector is going up nice, it's getting bigger, it's pointing in some ways we want to, but you can just see that that blue one's not really popping up, the red kind of hangs on for a long time. And this can be a real problem with a lot of the golfers that you're gonna look at, that coaches are gonna look at. You mentioned the importance in the world long, long drive world, but again, it's incredibly important to our everyday amateur golfers. So in assuming that these golfers have some capacity to generate the appropriate stabilities, that they don't have any injuries, they have good strength and good capacity to move the body, you know, let's walk through a drill progression that you might use to help them get out of that, lead, that trail leg and kind of initiate that downswing properly. Our first drill in the progression of lead side load is lead side load, half step, forward. Now, what's that gonna look like? Well, we take our normal stance. We're gonna uh, take a half step with our lead towards the trail, and we're gonna start with the club pointed at about 45 degrees or parallel. As we take the club back and the club passes where the golf ball would be, I want to initiate that step to where our lead foot would normally be and finish the swing aggressively. We'll do three preparatory repetitions where we practice that and then three full, full repetitions. And again, we're trying to load heavy into that lead side. In our second progression of lead side load, this one is lead side load, half step forward with force pedal. In this instance, we'll use yellow force pedal under the trail edge of the trail foot, in essence, to give us a starting block, a mechanical advantage to help that push early and with more magnitude. So I'll position that middle of the trail foot slightly towards the heel, take our normal stance. I'll take a half step forward with the lead foot and the club is gonna start forward. We'll do three preparatory repetitions and then three full repetitions. Half step back, club starts forward, we push off that trail, we want the load heavy, heavy load into that lead side. So three preparatory repetition. Now three full. All right, thank you, Jason. That was an awesome progression of what we could do with players to help them get out of that trail leg, kind of initiate that downswing and really generate the great start to the downswing that we know every golfer needs. Absolutely, uh, Tyler. It's just, uh, uh, you know, getting it, getting into that trail side and then getting out of the trail side is immensely important uh, if we want efficiency in the golf swing.